anonymous watch guy here with an unboxing video quick wrist check it's thursday which means it's thoris day we're on the oris aqua state great watch today we have an unboxing from a brand that i have featured on the channel before uh, sega design and sega design actually reached out to me and provided this watch to the channel uh, for free to do an unboxing and review on greatly appreciate that this is the X-Series Great Ape. Uh, this is their most popular watch. Uh, I had the Z-Series on the channel before. Really like the packaging from Sega Design. You have this kind of cool outer sleeve, and the packaging is very much like a book. Uh, you open it up, and on the first page, you've got your one of the design awards that they have won. Uh, and then it says, with the tenacious features, dare to be capricious some big words that basically means kind of unpredictable or untamed which is a big theme for this particular watch you've got some operating instructions on the back uh, maintenance instructions you've also got your warranty card in here but of course we are here for the watch and this one also does come with two straps you've got kind of your silicone type rubber strap and kind of a uh, cloth uh, single pass NATO style strap as well. But let's take a closer look at the watch and we'll pop it on one of the straps here. This is, as I mentioned, the uh, X series and this is the kind of a almost DLC looking uh, coated stainless steel. This is stainless steel. This is a 44 millimeter watch. It is 48 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. You do have a 22 millimeter lug opening. It is 11.8 millimeters thick. You do have a assigned crown at the three o'clock position. It is not screwed down. This does have three bar or 30 meters water resistance. The other side over here, you've kind of got your Great Ape uh, logo uh, for the model. Uh, and this has a, a Sika Design calls it the CDO1 movement that they claim is uh, kind of developed in-house again Sika design customized movement cd01 don't have a lot of information on that movement before i put up the full review video uh, i will get a little more information on that particular movement uh, but uh, you've got your kind of customized signed rotor there the back is mineral crystal the front is sapphire and the interesting thing on this particular uh, version as well. You can see this on the skeletonized X here. Uh, that is loom, so you get a nice, uh, some loom on the end of the handset, and the X itself is also loomed, which gives you a very cool look. Uh, I will get a loom shot definitely posted up on my Instagram, and in the full review video, I will also uh, get a loom shot. But really, really like the look of this watch. Um, a lot of skeletonized watches in this price point uh, have kind of a cheap feel or a cheap look. Uh, not this watch, not the other Sega design that I also have. Uh, it definitely has a quality feel to it. Really, really interesting looking watch. Uh, really like the way they've skeletonized the movement. Uh, I think it just has a very, very cool look. Uh, really like the orange on the case and on the crown. Like that orange seconds hand. Uh, but just a, a very cool and interesting looking watch. I kind of like this black, almost maybe DLC type coating on this. This is uh, on the stainless steel. Uh, really good look at the movement uh, there and that rotor. Uh, but a very interesting looking watch and, and a very cool watch. If you're into skeletonized watches, I think this is a pretty, pretty cool choice. Uh, 
This watch is available on the Sega Design website. It goes for $3.59 there. Uh, I didn't check on Amazon to see what the going price is there, uh, but I know these are available on Amazon as well. Uh, but I think there's some definite value for money here. Uh, skeletonized watches aren't cheap. And, and again, like I said, some of the cheaper ones uh, definitely don't look like they're of great quality. Uh, and I think that this Sega design uh, piece definitely uh, looks more expensive than what it is. Uh, and it feels like, uh, you know, premium materials are used. I really like the look of the watch. I'm going to pop it on this rubber strap and kind of so you can see what it looks like on the rubber strap and then maybe do a quick wrist shot here uh, so you can uh, get an idea of what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. I'm going to try to do this live on video uh, and I am absolutely terrible at uh, putting straps on or changing straps and uh, I'm going to start to get frustrated and probably have it take longer than it needs to because this is actually really really easy to, to change the straps on these with these quick release spring bars uh, so not too terribly difficult at all just something that I am not great at myself so being that, that said, I'm not great at it. You see, I really didn't have too overly difficult of a time doing it. There's kind of what it looks like on the rubber strap. For a quick comparison as well, this is a Series 7 Apple Watch. You can see they are relatively similar size. The Sega design is just a little bit larger but pretty close. I will pop it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Again, square watches are going to wear a little bit different than a round watch. Uh, but give you an idea what it looks like on my wrist here. And here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. Very cool looking watch. You know, I really like that black and orange color contrast. Uh, very cool looking uh, skeletonized movement. Uh, very interesting watch. If you're into skeletonized watches, I definitely recommend checking out Stiga Design. Uh, stay tuned. I will get a full review video up of this watch within the next week or two. But you have the Stiga Design X-Series. If you like the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.